Today is the unveiling of the Conquest Reserve Living Shoreline Project, the very first man-made shingle beach in the country. Queen Anne's County partnered with the Department of Natural Resources and the National Wildlife Federation to establish a living shoreline project at Conquest Preserve in Centerville. Conquest Beach is situated on the 758-acre Conquest Preserve between the Corsica and Chester Rivers. During the ribbon-cutting ceremony, attendees were able to hear about some of the process of transforming Conquest Beach and how it was a tremendous group effort from a variety of organizations. We look forward to helping more communities across the state to adapt to and prepare for our changing climate and assist them with living shorelines and other projects in the future, just like is being done seemingly every day here in Queen Anne's County. The erosion problem at Conquest Beach was initially assessed in 2005, but was revisited in 2014 when the Department of Natural Resources presented a new plan to Queen Anne's County. Uh, Conquest, uh, the, the project that we are standing on, was an actively eroding site for many, many years. 2005, the Army Corps of Engineers came down here and, and studied this site, and they came up with a, with a bunch of options. Back in 2013, 2014, Queen Anne's County, with whom we've been working on a lot of different projects, came to us and said, hey, you want to actually look at this project and try to come up with a solution. This project was created to combat the impacts of erosion, rising sea level, and more frequent and intense storms in our area. The design is innovative and part of a system of nationally recognized coastal impact related projects in Queen Anne's County. So this is one of the first living shoreline projects, uh, not only in the state, but in the nation, to proactively incorporate the impacts of climate change, specifically uh, sea level rise, into its design and construction. Um, and m furthermore, it incorporates this uh, concept we call shingle beach concept. So it incorporates uh, cobble into the sand mixture so that the, um, the structural component is mixed in with the sand and is not a separate uh, wall of rock. It was about a four foot cliff um, and there were a lot of trees up and down the shoreline. The root balls were exposed, some of them had fallen in, the, fallen in there. So what we did is we, we graded it out, we smoothed it into a you know, smooth transition from the, from the park into the, into the river here. So as sea levels rise, the cobbles are light enough that they can uh, uh, move and shift with the tides and with writhing seas um, so that the shoreline will stay intact but still uh, retain its uh, effectiveness against erosion uh, and, and storms. After the ceremony, attendees were invited to participate in the final step of the project and leave their mark by planting the last set of grasses on the beach. For more information on Queen Anne's County Parks, you can visit QAC.org. For QAC TV, I'm Mallory Drummond.